Welcome to BCH Technologies. This is Kevin. Today we're going to uh, show you how to set up uh, uh, 20, 2750. Uh, the first thing you do is um, remove this piece, the packing piece, and you can, you can discard it. And then there's some uh, shipping clock we need to remove. And uh, just swing open the external tank and uh, you want you may want a, a piece of cloth or a piece of a paper towel to cover it when you remove it. Uh, because in the high altitude, uh, your tank might be pressurized. So that's why you want a piece of cloth to cover your hand before you remove it. And let me jump ahead. So when you uh, when you add ink, this is the plug that you add ink. Just unplug it and add in, add, and uh, just dump the ink in inside, and plug it back. Uh, you can use the ink all the way down to here, and uh, then you swing open and add ink. Uh, this is test unit, so we didn't fill it up yet. Uh, when you receive it, it's gonna fill up all the way to here. Then you can plug it in, and uh, turn it on. You're going to see it says, cartridge is not recognized, please replace the cartridge. Okay, whenever you see this, you're going to open up the, the lid, it will cycle between the OK and the encode. So we press OK. You're going to see the cartridge going to move into the middle here. And uh, you use your finger to press this yellow, uh, not yellow, this white button. And count to three. One, two, three, and then release it. And if you see the screen is, and it will, ask, it will ask you to start, press start. So you press start. Either either one is okay. Okay, now uh, now you can pop the CD in and uh, do the installation, and or you can just go to the website. The website has a, a, a has a driver has all the drivers, and um, one thing I need to mention is uh, although although you have this external ta external tank, the absent is still going to tr going to have their ink counter, so it will give you like a low ink warnings. And uh, just ignore the loading warning. Just say, okay, I already purchased Epson, uh, Epson cartridge. Just keep, just keep using it. And uh, just don't stop when there's a loading warnings. And those are not errors. Those just are prom, prompts, just like uh, uh, enticing you to buy Epson ink. Just say, okay. And, uh, and then eventually, uh, after you show a couple warnings, and you're going to have this uh, sign ink cannot be recognized. And whenever you see this, just do this thing, which, uh, just do exactly the same thing with it. And uh, uh, press OK, open it up, press the button, and hit start, and close it. And uh, you're going to see the ink is full again. As I said, your real ink volume is here, and uh, you can see it's half full. And uh, doesn't matter if the computer computer think your ink is full or not. The computer is just uh, using the old ink value to calculate uh, how much ink is should left. Um, however, just uh, monitor the link level here when it's get low and just add ink. Next step is uh, make sure there's no error in the uh, in the tubes. 
and uh, you can see this tube is totally full. Let me give you an example of uh, air. This one, you can see the ink only filled halfway, then there's air in the tubes. Okay, I'll show you how to remove the air in the tubes. You can see the yellow, uh, the smaller yellow line is solid, except uh, the bigger one. The bigger one is going to the print head. You need to remove those air before you print. Uh, so we got uh, uh, air here, so we want to remove. Not the, yellow, not the tiny one, the, the bigger one. To do it, we uh, here's your control pad, so we go to setup, click OK, and then we scroll down to maintenance, and uh, we go down to uh, head cleaning, and uh, ask you to press start. Remember, starting is here. Uh, you probably won't get all the air gone in the first time, so just keep doing it, even if it's five, six times, eventually, uh, eventually the air will be gone. I mean, before you can see it's all cleaned up with the bubbles. That look pretty good, except there's a little tiny guy there. It really doesn't matter most of the time if it's that tiny, but I uh, will do one more before we print that uh, another check. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, it's a really simple system. I don't know what else I should add on to the tutorial. Uh, so this is the first version. So email us at support.bchtechnologies.com. If you have any suggestions, uh, what should we add on, and uh, what what you want to show, what you want us to show you? Okay, I add a little bit of uh, a quick snapshot of uh, how to add the inks uh, in case you run out of ink in the future. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Uh, visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Thank you. Cheers.